Thank you for joining me on this TMK Essentials training video. Uh, this is part three, search results. My name is Ron, I am tech support with Hoi Information Service. Okay, so once you're in research, uh, in order to control what your search results look like, you're looking at this section up here, upper left hand side, your format button, your per page, and your sort by drop down. So your per page, just go ahead and, you know, put in the, the value that you want in here. Your sort by drop down, pop this open and you can select from either tax key, sale price or zip code. Just make your selection here. And your format drop down, you click on it, it opens up. You have a couple tabs up top. or and uh, But in the main section, you can just place your check mark on the certain format you'd like to see. Okay, let's go ahead and run a search. So we are using TMK one line. So when you see TMK in here, just TMK, we call this TMK one line because what you're gonna get when you run your search is the one line of data that goes across here. And what you can do with the TMK one line format, you are able to drag columns to just customize it to exactly what you want here. Uh, you can also click on the, the um, column header to sort uh, alternatively, you can right click on these column headers. So if I right click on owner, I can sort by this also from this drop down. I can hide columns. I'm going to hide owner column. Let's hide this column also. Hide this. And if um, this is exactly how I want it, I can also right click. I can save my formatting. And you know, next time I use TMK one line, it'll be exactly like this. Or if you want to just bring everything back, go ahead and use research standard format here so like I'm gonna do okay okay so yeah with your team kit one line you can just uh, drag columns and sort them and hide them you can do a lot of stuff with the team K one line uh, other formats you're not able to do this just with this one um, whenever you see a tax key like for example this whole row is tax keys you can click on them so I'm gonna click on this we're gonna get our team K full format you can scroll through and take a look at that uh, when I did click on that, I did get a tab up top here. I got my Team K tab. Let's click back to search. Click on something else. Back on your Team K tab with your Team K full. Next one. And then once you have a couple in here, you can open up your recent drop down, and you can select. You know, you can go back to anything you've previously seen. The list can get pretty long, so it'll it'll remember pretty much whatever you whatever you've clicked on before. Okay. This little icon here is going to show the tax map scan. Um, your account may or may not have this. Uh, this is an added service, but if you do have it, you simply click on it. It's going to open up in our viewer here. So this is the black and white scan from the county of the um, of the plat plat map. This is the whole plat here. Okay, so let's go back. So again, if you don't see this, it is something you would have to call and ask to have added on. Uh, to your service. Okay, let's go back to search. Oh, I'm, I'm already on search, sorry. Let's modify to go back to the search fields. Okay, open up our format dropdown. So right under TMK, we have TMK short. I'm gonna click and run it. You know what, let's, uh, we don't need all of this. Okay, TMK short is gonna give you property basics and it's gonna give you sales. So if I scroll, I only get these two sections here. So this is what Team K Short looks like. Um, let's modify, mod format, Team K Quick. Team K Quick is gonna give you just the basics. So if you just need this card here, that's what you wanna use, your Team K Quick. Team K Full. Okay, this is what we were seeing when we clicked on the, the tax keys, you know, from the Team K One line. So let's take a look, quick look at what the full looks like. So with full, you're going to get property basics, you're going to get sales, then you're going to get the DPP section, Department of Planning and Permitting. You're going to get a building section here. You're going to get the sketch. Let's keep scrolling. Building two, if there is one. Additions, permits. Uh, so yeah, all of this is already included in your TMK full. So I say already included because if we modify it to go back, open it up, um, you can come, like I was saying earlier, you can combine formats. So TMK full 
already has building in it. It has DPP, it has sales, it has sketch. Um, not permits though, but per the permits are a little different with the TMK4. The TMK4 will have permits, but this is also a permit a format that we're, we can add later, uh, just in a few moments here. But but yeah, so TMK4 already has these in it. If you see somebody that, you know, somebody using the system and they have TMK4 checked, checked and they also have these checked or, you know, one of these, then they, they kind of don't know what they're doing with the system, not with the formats anyway. So just so you know, you don't need to check these individually because you already have it checked here and you're full. Okay, so let's show you what combining formats looks like. Let's go Team K and Property Report. Just have a couple more matches on here. So I have Team K, or your selected formats does um, kind of recap right here at the top. I'm gonna run this. Okay, so I'm getting my Team K one line, and this is your property report format added on here. So what the property report format is giving you our links directly to Bing Maps and Google Maps. So for example, if I click on that, it's going to open up Google Maps and it's going to place the pin right down my property by the address. Uh, so if you, you know, if you just want to quickly, quickly link out to Google Maps, that, that's what you want to use, the property report format. Okay, so, uh, so yeah, so you can combine formats. So TMK one line, property report, it's modified to go back. Let's also add in the permits format. And so team K1, I mean yeah, team K1 line, property report, and permits on this property. Okay. So hopefully you're um you're better at reading the permits than than I am. We will help we can help you find the data, but if you want specifics on it, you know, about this permit, like say converted doesn't seem right to you, you should probably call the county and um they, they can give you more details on what's what's happening with this permit or what the correct you know if uh, they need to correct the status or something correct something in here okay but anyway so that is the permit format added on with these other two so it's modified to go back so yeah feel free to combine combine formats and when you run your search you pretty much customize what the, what you want to see as results Okay, schools. Um, schools is a little different, not different, but um, the, the Board of Education or the Hawaii Board, they, they didn't let us link directly to their site. So what we're linking to is this National Center for Education Statistics uh, website. Um, this is only gonna give you a range. So if we scroll down in this little section, so notice it's just a range, less than half a mile from this property to Central. Um, Myron Thompson, not sure what that is. But anyway, so it's just a range. So of course in 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 our state, the the school districts, they're kind of they're not they're not definitely not by by range, but uh but this is what we were allowed to link to and uh, this is what we made available to you guys. So that is the schools format. Modified to go back. Okay, summary. Let's run this. Um, adding the summary format will give you um, this little uh, section at the bottom here. So it will give you the number of sales, the lowest sale, the highest sale, the average, the median, and if there is a mode, it will give you the mode, the most repeating number. Okay, so yeah, if you need to just quickly summarize data, just go ahead and use the summary format. Summarize sales data, I should say. Let's modify. And brand. So brand is also going to be placed at the bottom of your results. Let's leave summary on there. So we have our summary and below it we have brand. So um, if you are the primary on the account, you are going to have your name here. Unfortunately, if you're not the primary, there's no way to really control this. This is just, you know, done by um, whoever's primary, their name is going to go on here. So yes, feel free to use this to to um, to place this little card here at the bottom, so that way when you print or email, it is stamped that with your name and your your office info, your contact and your logo and stuff. Okay, modify it to go back. Okay, we don't need this anymore. Uh, photos. Okay, so um, we are again, so we are in MLS, um, but mainly for Kauai and Big Island, but 
um, if if a listing has been entered into into our system and it does have photos, we will make that available to you. Uh, nothing on these results. I'm just trying to find something that might have a photo on it. Here we go. Okay, so this um, parcel eight, it did have a listing in our system, and it did have photos. So we do make that available to you. Um, one thing to keep in mind is we don't um, we don't timestamp it or date stamp it in any way uh, when we provide it to you like this. So just just use it as a reference. Um, you know, things could have this could have been uploaded five, ten years ago, and things might have changed. Maybe the building's not that color anymore. Anything could have happened, right? But anyway, if we do have the photos, we will make it available to you. Um, it is uh, pretty um, not pretty high, but much higher uh, likelihood that we will have photos for any Koi or Big Island properties you might be looking at. Um, Oahu, it's kind of spare, um, sparse, but. Um, but it, there is there is a slight chance we have photos for you, um, even if it is an Oahu property. But yeah, feel free to use uh, the photo format if that's what you want. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and nerf this down to show you what happens. So if I have my per page at something like 20, but I'm pulling 51 properties here. Let's hit search. What you're going to want to do is scroll to the bottom and you're going to see this next page down here. Just hit that. You go to the next page, next page. Pretty simple, but just know where the next page is. It is on the bottom down there. Okay. Okay. And of course, like I said, you can change this to whatever you want. 500, I mean, we'll accept it. The system will accept it, but if you're pulling too much, the system does have a limit where um, if it's processing a particular request for more than, I believe, four minutes, it's gonna drop the, the request. So for example, you want to pull, if you do this, for example, once, you're pulling everything on Oahu, and you do TMK full and all permits, and you know, just something crazy. Um, what happens is you try to run it, the system is not going to stop you from doing it, but after four minutes, it's going to drop your, your request saying you did this too much. Stop doing that. Um, okay, so yeah, something around 100 is, is a good amount, but probably better to keep it at like 40 or something, our default. Okay. Um, okay, format drop down. Okay, so we do have tabs up here. Um, over on the right is your options tab. Let's click here. So I do have um, show search recap already selected. So that is what's happening when I, I gotta put in the request. When I'm running my searches, I'm getting my recap up top here. So that is what that um, check mark in options is. It shows the search recap, the recap. So that way when I print or email or whatever, this will be up top and then I'll remember what I searched and how I got these these results to show. Let's modify it to go back. Um, so that's um, search recap. Customer format, I'm gonna take off recap and I'm gonna check mark customer format. I don't have to take off recap, but I wanna show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna search. So I don't have my recap up top because I removed it. And because I'm in customer format, I am not seeing owner information in here. No owner information and I'm not seeing sales. So this is Team K full, but I'm not seeing those two because I'm in customer format. Okay, let's modify. So again, that is in options customer format here. Let's take that off. And that's, uh, you know what, let's not use Team K full. Let's just use Team K to show you. Search now. Uh, I have permits selected for some reason, but um, you know, yeah, let's take off permits. That's not helping us with our examples. Okay, so you can also do customer format from your action buttons. So these are your action buttons down here. So I'm going to hit copy, and I'm going to check mark customer format. And notice my, my owner info is now missing here. I have um, sale date and sale prices, but it's not... Um, if I, let, let's click on one of these, in fact. No owner info because I'm still in customer format. And yeah, the sales data is uh, scrubbed off. It's hidden, I should say. 
but if you're in the one line, you get the date and the price. You just don't have the the um, the person's name attached to the sale. So if I take off customer format, and then we look here, oops, let's take it off in here. I do have owner information here now with their tax bill address, and I have the sale, like who was a part of the sale, and the price. So that's the difference. Um, so if you're running a search, like if you're sharing an account, um, one common call we have is, you know, people are using the account and they're not seeing the owner info and they call us up and they say, why did you guys take that away? It's, we didn't take it away. Somebody went into your options and they put on customer format and they saved it as your default format, probably by mistake. But uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's what that is, that customer format. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So um, when you get your results, you do want to use these action buttons down here on the bottom. So here's your copy, uh, copy page. So when you do page, it is looking at everything on the page. So if I hit copy page, what it's giving me is a clean page where I am going to control A to select all, control C to put it on my clipboard, and I'm going to open up a a Word document or my a new Outlook message or Gmail or whatever and just paste it in there. So I'm pasting this in the body. Your links will all still work within the paste. These little guys will still work. So um, so that's your, that's your copy. Um, print, pretty straightforward. Hit page. It'll print what you see on the page. Uh, this is how Chrome is handling the print. So I do get a preview. Okay, so, um, yeah, so when I open this up, notice I have page checked and not checked. What you can do is place check marks. So say you wanted to, you know, kind of weed out certain things. So I want to just do these two. If I do copy checked, I just get those two because I said I want the checked. Now I want to print the not checked. I should be missing five. And nine, uh, hard to see here, but yeah, I don't see five or, or nine in here because I did not check. Okay, so that's what the check the not checked is. It's by placing check marks in these check boxes. Um, let's modify, let's use Team K Quick. So every format is going to have this. So in Team K Quick, your check boxes are up here, for example. You know, pretty straightforward. So once you place your check marks and you want to weed them out, checked or not checked. Okay, so email, let's go ahead and hit your email. Email checked. Uh, when you do this from our system, you're gonna get this form that opens up. Um, if you're not primary on the account, take this away because it's gonna have your primary person's on name name on here. So you wanna put your name. Um, you are gonna see the primary person's email also, but because I'm um, on this demo account, I, I don't have an email address in here. We didn't auto populate, but yours is going to auto populate. Make sure you change it, you know, take take it off, put yours on here. Because when your person receives it, they reply, it's going to go to whoever's email address is up here. It's not going to get back to you. Um, the copy me, if this is checked, this is going to copy again to this person. So whoever is filled out up here with this copy me check mark. Hit send or you know fill out the subject and whatever um, and send it off so um, we are sending this email from research to your client but we're um, but we're saying it's coming from you so if you put your address up here so for example I just typed in my address up here uh, it sends from research but we spoofed the the from to put my email address on here so when your client receives it there's a pretty high likelihood that if they're using Gmail or some kind of um, a mail program, that it is going to go into their spam because Gmail doesn't like it when um, when we send from research, but we say it comes from some other address. It's kind of a flag, and also within you know a lot of our emails from the system, there's tons of links, right? So links to the TMKs and the uh, the scans and stuff. So lots of links also. So that's another reason why a lot of mail programs will flag us as spam. So definitely contact your client, let them know, probably in spam. They go into their spam folder, 
you know mark it as trusted and then from then on it should go into their uh, their inbox but just be aware that is a common problem so that's why it is good to sometimes use the copy you send from your Outlook or your Gmail and it shouldn't hit spam that way. Okay, um, so email, PDF, PDF will just create a PDF doc for you. So I hit PDF page just now. It's gonna generate the PDF on our servers and this is how Chrome is displaying your PDF of the data. And hit this guy up here to download. Uh, Firefox into Explorer, the icons might be different, might be down on the bottom or something, but Chrome, you just hit this guy and it's gonna want to download from me here. Okay. Um, basket. So I've been skipping this one, but let's take a look at this. Uh, I'm gonna place a couple check marks. I'm gonna hit basket. I'm gonna basket checked. I could do page if I wanted to, but it's basket checked. And notice it says, this is your basket. So what I'm doing is I'm building what I want. Um, the basket icon, upper right-hand side, notice it's missing because we're, we're in the basket now. I'm gonna go back to my search, modify. I'm just gonna get different looking type of stuff on here. On a basket, these two. I'm just building some random stuff. Modify. Um, what I want, let's do some permits. This one, this one, basket checked. Okay, so um, I'm hitting basket and I'm placing stuff in there. So what I'm doing is I'm building this page here. So if I scroll down, I should see my, my one-liners and I should see the permits that I just put in here. And then I can print or email or whatever the thing I just built. Um, be sure to do something with it, meaning print it or whatever, um, because um, our system is not going to remember your basket. Meaning, if you log out, your basket is gone. There's, it's not something we're store, you're storing for later. It is something that you build it and you do something with it. So, don't build it and just log out because we, you're not going to recover it. We we don't have a way to recover it because we're not storing it. It's pretty much just storing on your browser, in your browser's cache, actually. Okay, and of course, if you're done, just hit clear. Well, actually, if you're doing a search and you know you navigate away, you can just hit this little guy up here to find your basket. So open my basket. This is this is your basket. That little icon up there, this little shopping cart guy. Okay, modify to go back. Okay, that pretty much covers the search results and what do you want your or how to control what your search results look like. Um, hope you guys learned a little bit from that. Um, again, my name is Ron. Um, please, if you want, stick around to go to our next video. Or if not, hope you're having a great day. Aloha.